Hey, I'm Tina Bacon, I'm 22 and I was one of the young people chosen to do the Young Critics Scheme last year. This video is just going to tell you a little bit about the scheme, um, how my experience was, give you some tips about poetry reviewing, and yeah, hopefully encourage you to maybe apply yourself. The scheme is run by the Poetry Society and the T.S. Eliot Prize, and it brings together 10 young people from across the UK and Ireland, and everyone makes a video about one of the shortlisted books. Um, it's a video review, and it gets put on the Poetry Society and T.S. Eliot Prize's YouTube channels. So last year was the first time they ran it, and they're running it again this year. Um, the deadline to apply is the 16th of August. I applied. Um, by filling out a form and submitting some of my writing. It doesn't have to be a poetry review, um, just any sort of writing that you think conveys your creativity um, and your ability to communicate. Um, so yeah, I submitted that and then I was lucky enough to be selected as one of the young people. So we were each assigned a book from the shortlist. Um, I was assigned Quiet by Victoria Adequa Bully, which is one of my favourite collections ever, so that was really cool. But yeah, we all had to read our books and then obviously reread them and reread them but um there were zoom several zoom sessions that the poetry society ran um to support us in creating our video reviews um to help us think about how to structure it how to talk to an audience how to set up a video the first session was about um thinking about poetry reviews and what they are and who they're for um and starting to like think through some questions that you might want to answer through your review the second session it was run by the poetry society but they invited jane campbell who's a booktuber and writer and I followed her work for years so that was really cool. She gave us um, lots of tips um, for poetry reviewing, not only for the scheme but also if we wanted to pursue it in future. Um, and she makes YouTube videos so she gave us some advice about how to like make an engaging YouTube video, what that looks like. And yeah, it was just really interesting and really insightful. We got to ask her loads of questions. And then the third session was like really solidifying our, our ideas and we got to like feedback with one another about our ideas in like smaller groups um, and I found that really, really helpful. Um, yeah, and the Poetry Society were generally just really supportive and you could tell that they really want to help you develop these skills, not only for the scheme, but to like carry on using them in future. So yeah, we all created um, videos that were about five minutes about our books. Um, there was so much freedom in the way you approached it, although they like helped give you some structure through the sessions. But um, yeah, some people interpret it really creatively and made like visual imagery to go with their books and everything. Here's what my video looked like, um, but all the videos are on the YouTube channel, so I definitely encourage you to go and have a watch of those. And then we all got to go to the South Bank Centre in London for the shortlist readings, um, and that's where all like the authors read a se selection of their poems. We all had dinner beforehand and that was really nice, and then we all sat together in the South Bank Centre to listen to this poetry. And there were book signings afterwards, so we actually got to meet all the authors. I think one of the best parts of me was like, getting all my books signed and like the authors actually recognizing me from my review like Victoria Adequi really recognized me from my review of her book and that was just like crazy um and really cool um and yeah here's a picture of it I was just like fine learning it was great um so yeah it was a pretty amazing experience I'd say so since the scheme ended I've mostly uh, been finishing my degree because I'm in my final year and it's just like intense um but I have been doing a lot more things to do with poetry and video editing and things like that. I've even run, ran poetry workshops um, and video editing workshops as part of my internship since and those were skills definitely that I picked up from the scheme because I knew nothing about video editing before. So one thing that's happened that's been really cool um, has been being in touch with the reviews editor at Poetry London. I got to send her some of my writing um, and I've been added to their like database of poetry critics to contact if they have anything in future. We recently had a catch-up call as a Young Critics Scheme cohort um, along with the Poetry Society and it was really great to hear that like loads of people are also having loads of really cool opportunities. One, don't let imposter syndrome get to you. If you've submitted your writing and they've selected you, you deserve to be there, so yeah. Two, I'd say read and reread and reread your book. Um, because you'll pick up new things every single time. I listen to like interviews the author's done, I listen to some podcasts and that really um, helped me like see where she was coming from as well as like linking it to my own personal connection to the text. Three, make it accessible. I think one of the really cool things that you can do as a poetry critic um, is encourage people to read poetry, you know, and so making it accessible to everyone is really important. Four, I'd say with a video review, don't be afraid to like get creative with your approach to it. And yeah, I just think it's really cool to like make 
something that's in response or like in conversation with the original text also like in being creative you encourage other people to engage bringing more people into the world of poetry and poetry review so yeah hopefully those tips are helpful i really encourage you to sign up it's been a really great experience there is so much support you're given um you learn so much the support doesn't end after the scheme ends you get to meet really cool people the deadline is the 16th of august um so yeah just head to the website and fill out that form and see what happens. Thanks for listening.